guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this problem without a calculator. So we have 50 to the power of 100 divided by 100 to the power of 50. So now what I'm first going to do is I'm going to take 50 here. And as you can see, it's to the power of 100. However, 100 is equal to 2 times 50, right? So I'm just going to say 50 to the power of 2 times 50. And we are going to divide this by now 100. This is equal to 2 times 50. So now we have 2 times 50 to the power of 50. Now, this is going to equal 50 to the power of 2 times 50 is simply equal to 50 to the power of 50 plus 50. Now we're going to divide this by 2 times 50 to the power of 50. This would equal 2 to the power of 50 times 50 to the power of 50. Now, if we have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 50 to the power of 50 plus 50, this would equal 50 to the power of 50 times 50 to the power of 50. And we are dividing this with 2 to the power of 50 times 50 to the power of 50. And as you can see, we have 50 to the power of 50 in the numerator and the denominator, so these two would cancel out. And this would equal 50 to the power of 50 over 2 to the power of 50. Now, if we have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So 50 to the power of 50 over 22 to the power of 50, this is going to equal 50 over 2 to the power of 50. And this is equal to 50 divided by 2 is 25. So 25 to the power of 50. Now 25, this is the same thing as 5 squared. So this is equal to 5 squared to the power of 50. And if we have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So this is going to equal 5 to the power of 2 times 50 which is simply just 5 to the power of 100. So this is our answer. Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have 2 to the power of m minus 2 to the power of n is equal to 2016. Now, as you see, because 2 to the power of m minus 2 to the power of n is equal to a positive number, which in this case is 2016, we know that 2 to the power of m is greater than 2 to the power of n. Because let's say, hypothetically, that m was equal to 1 and n was equal to 2. 
we would have 2 to the power of 1 minus 2 squared is equal to a positive number. 2 to the power of 1 is 2 minus 2 squared is 4. And this is equal to negative 2, which is a negative number. So because 2 to the power of m is greater than 2 to the power of n, this also means that m is greater than n because both have bases of 2. So now I'm going to set m equal to n plus some constant k. So now I have, if I plug in n plus k for m, 2 to the power of n plus k minus 2 to the power of n is equal to 2016. Now, as you can see, we have 2 to the power of n plus k, and I want to simplify this. So this is essentially in the form a to the power of m plus n. And this can be simplified into a to the power of n plus n is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 2 to the power of n plus k in this case, this is equal to 2 to the power of n times 2 to the power of k minus 2 to the power of n equal to 2016. Now, because both terms here have 2 to the power of n in them, I'm simply going to factor out 2 to the power of n. So now I have 2 to the power of n times, now 2 to the power of n times 2 to the power of k divided by 2 to the power of n is simply just 2 to the power of k minus, now 2 to the power of n divided by 2 to the power of n is 1. So this is equal to 2016. So now I have 2 to the power of n times 2 to the power of k minus 1 is equal to 2016. Now, because 2 to the power of n, because we have a base of 2, we know that this is going to be even. Because 2 to the power of any number is even. 2 to the power of 5 is 32. 2 to the power of 4 is not 36. It's supposed to be 2. 2 to the power of 4 is 16. 2 to the power of 3 is 8. Notice how all the powers of 2 are positive, or sorry, not positive, even. So 2 to the power of any number, n, is even. Now, if we subtract 1 from an even number, what is it going to be? It's going to be odd, right? So 2 to the power of any number minus 1, that number will be odd, because 2 to the power of any number is even, so if we subtract 1 from an even number, it's going to be odd. So I have an even number times an odd number. Meaning we need to change 2016 so it's in the form of an even number times an odd number. So now this will be equal to 2 to the power of n times 2 to the power of k minus 1. Remember this is 2 to the power of n is even. 2 to the power of k minus 1 is odd. And this is equal to now, 2016, I'm going to rewrite as 2 to the power of 5, which is even, times 63, which is odd. Now, 2 to the power of 5 is equal to 32 times 63, which is equal to 2016. So I simply just wrote 2016 as 2 to the power of 5 times 63 because this is an even number times an odd number. Now, this gives us two equations. We have 2n is equal to 2 to the power of 5, and 2 to the power of k minus 1 is equal to 63. What I essentially did was I set the even numbers equal to each other, and I set the odd numbers equal to each other. So for 2 to the power of n is equal to 2 to the power of 5, if we have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, then this means that m is equal to n. So for 2 to the power of n is equal to 2 to the power of 5, n is equal to 5.
So our value for n is 5. Now for 2 to the power of k minus 1, we, I am going to first start by adding 1 on both sides. So I have 2 to the power of k is equal to 63 plus 1 is 64. Now we need to find out 2 to the power of what is equal to 64. Now we know that 2 to the power of 1 is equal to 2. And if we go a little farther, 2 to the power of 4, this is equal to 16. 2 to the power of 5, this is equal to 32. So one more should do the trick, 2 to the power of 6, this is equal to 32 times 2, which is 64. So now we have 2 to the power of k is equal to 2 to the power of 6. And again, remember, if we have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, k is equal to 6. So now we have our value for n, we have our value for k, we know that n is equal to 5, k is equal to 6. However, remember, our original equation, this was 2 to the power of m minus 2 to the power of n is equal to 2016, and so far we've found out our value for n, however we did not find our value for m. But remember, we did state in the start that m was equal to n plus k. And we have our values for k and n. So we can simply plug these in. So now we have m is equal to 6 plus 5. 6 plus 5 is 11, so we have m is equal to 11. So now we have both our values for n and m. So now let's go ahead and check. So m is 11, so we have 2 to the power of 11 minus 2 to the power of n, which is 5, is equal to 2016. Now, 2 to the power of 11, I'm going to go ahead and rewrite that as 2 to the power of 5 times 2 to the power of 6. So now I have this minus 2 to the power of 5, which is 2016. Now if I factor out 2 to the power of 5, I get 2 to the power of 5 times 2 to the power of 6 minus 1, 2016. Now 2 to the power of 5 is 32. 2 to the power of 6 is 64. 64 minus 1. And now this is equal to 2016. 32 times 63 is 2016. So we have 2016 is equal to 2016, meaning our values for n and m are right.